Right, welcome back to the, the Bug Out uh, YouTube channel. Now today's video is all about the, the Bug Out Survival Barrel. Now I buried one in this undisclosed location over 12 months ago. So uh, join me while we uh, go and find it, dig it up, see what's inside and how it's fared after being 12 months underground. Let's go. Yeah, so this video we're going to uncover one of my um, bug out barrels I buried 12 months ago. Now, these barrels you can, you can store just about anything in them. Um, food, equipment, uh, it could be a root cellar, uh, survival equipment, uh, shelter builder stuff, whatever it is. Um, yeah, you can use these barrels hidden away. So in a SHTF situation, if you did have to bug out of uh, your home or, or a location and you had nothing on you, You've got these caches you can you can fall back on, as long as you remember where they are. So without further ado, let's uh, uncover this barrel. Like I say, it's been there for 12 months, and let, uh, we'll show you what's inside, and see how it's fared um, after 12 months underground. Let's go. Right, so this is a location. I've marked it with a, a marker stone. I position this one in amongst some small trees, so I am going to worry about uh, tree roots encroaching on the barrel. And uh, the ground is real dry here, and obviously the trees suck up most of the moisture. So yeah, I'm room with the, the marker stone. No wonder this bit of foliage. We'll do a bit of digging now, and we'll uncover the, the barrel. Now as you can see, I am buried this barrel very deep. Um, there's not really need to in here. It's secluded, no one comes in here. Um, there's no forestry work going on. There's no public right away, there's no footpaths. Um, so yeah, no one, like I say, no one's going to stumble across this barrel. So I haven't buried it that deep, it's only a couple inches underground. Now, if it was in a different environment, where there's a bit more human traffic, um, perhaps you'd bury it a little bit deeper. Even chuck a few coins about, or nails around, so it'll put off anybody with a metal detector, if, if anybody goes around metal detecting that area. There's a few things to consider about where you put your barrel. And I'm going to go through that more in um, my next video where we're going to bury a brand new barrel in a new location and uh, we'll go through that in more detail. Right, let's get this barrel uh, dug up. Well, that's the barrel, guys. Like I say, this barrel is different to the survival barrel, um, which I sell in the shop. But like I said, you can put anything in them, like I said before. Right, let's empty it out. On top I've got some gaffer tape or duct tape. Now if we come here at night, we've got a glow stick or cam light. Now inside the barrel, I've got a, a waterproof bag. Each barrel I do, it will depend on, on the location and what I'm going to use it for. Um, later on in the video I'll show you a link to another video I've done showing you uh, all the contents of a survival barrel. This barrel is, because um, it's quite close to home, it's more of a, um, a stopover barrel where I've got food, water and a few supplies. So it's not a survival barrel as such like in my other video, but um, this is like a, in the case of an emergency and I had nothing on me, I can come here and um, I've basically got enough here I can use and push on to the next location. So uh, let's get into it and find out what's inside. Right, so first thing I've got in the bag, let's say this is a waterproof bag. In here, I have to remind myself, snack items. It's got biscuit browns, some cake, some uh, biscuits, energy drinks, sweets and some energy drink. So that's a, just a few snack items. Uh, the dates are still good on these, so uh, these are out for another couple of years yet, another few years. Everything's still dry, bone dry in the bag. Got 
first aid kit. Um, oh, the two little tins I've got in here. One is a, a survival tin. Yeah, just all your basic survival items in one tin. And then the other tin I got is my fire litter tin. So again, I've got a few of these tins I make up. So I've got everything I need here to start a fire. Right, what's next in the bag? I think these are my tools. Oh, I've got a water filter, a saw, more a knife, and uh, a multi-tool. So that's got you covered really, all the tools you actually need. So that's my tool sorted. Like I say, um, if I had to leave the house for any situation, I had nothing on me. Um, the idea of this barrel is that I've got all the equipment there to survive or to push on to the next cache. Right, let's see what else is in the bag. So this is my cooking equipment. So I've got my mess tins. Uh, I've got water purification tablets, um, toilet paper, matches, and I've got a hexi burner and stove in here. So I've got a means of lighting fires, and now I've got a means of cooking uh, my food or boiling water. Now you notice I've got all my stuff in individual bags as well as the dry sack, uh, just that added protection. Let's see what's next. Right, so we've got Crusader mug and water bottle. So I've got a means of, of uh, getting water. Oh, there's a water course here about 100 yards away, so I've got plenty of water. Um, plus, I've got the mug in for not only uh, boiling water, but obviously I'm drinking out of. So that's my water sorted. I talk about food. I've got a few bags of food in here, all freeze dried. Yeah, so this particular uh, freeze dried food is good until 2027, so I've got a, a good few years on that yet. So I've got a few meals here. This, I think this is my electronics. So in this bag, I've got a couple of charger leads for phones, a solar light and battery bank, head torch and some spare batteries for the head torch. So there's a light sorted, plus with a battery bank. If I had my phone on me, um, if it needed charging, I could charge that up as well. Right, let's see what else is in there. Poncho. Again, I could wear that if it's raining, put this on. Or I could make a, a basic shelter out of it. And an emergency bag. That's it for the bag. And what else I've got in this barrel? Like I say, each barrel is different uh, depending on what you want it for. This one I've got uh, a little day sack in it. So uh, the thinking behind this one is, say I've, uh, it is an emergency and uh, I've got this cache and I need to go into the next one or I need to walk a bit further on. I can put what the items I need out of this barrel into this bag and then push on. That's the idea anyway. Right, let's see what's in the bottom of the barrel. Right, so water. I've got a few bottles of water. Now if you notice the water, I've emptied a bit out. Uh, just in case it freezes. Um, as you know, when water freezes, it'll expand. I don't want the water bottles to, to break or split. So I've emptied a bit out and then re-taped the ends up. So I've got a bit of water there for um, instant use. But like I say, there is a water course I can go by and get more. And the last thing in the barrel is some shelter building equipment. So I've got some rope, some bungees, a simple tarp, and I think there's a, another survival bag here if I need to get into it. And that's it guys. So that's a, the barrel contents guys. Uh, let's say this particular barrel. Um, so we're going to get all this back in now. And then um, I'll rebury it, recover it. And then put my marker stone on the top. That's it.
Now, I've reburied the barrel, as you can see, put my marker stone on the top. So now I'm just going to cover the whole area with a bit of foliage, just so it blends into the rest of the, the ground around it. Right, so that's it guys, it's all covered up now. Um, put all the foliage on the top, that'll blend in now over time. And I'm happy I can, I can leave that again, I'll come and check it again um, in, a, in a few months time. And I know exactly where it is if I need it. Now, I had a bit of a uh, helper today on the video, a new cameraman, uh, Ellis John. Do you want to come, come around here, Ellis? There he is, my boy. So yeah, he was filming today behind the camera. It's a, a, a budding uh, Steven Spielberg in the making, I reckon. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you don't even know what that is. Right, pop around there. That's it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like I say, um, check out this video now. Um, that's showing the survival barrel we sell in the shop. But again, you can use these barrels and put anything in you want in them. It could be uh, food supplies, uh, tools, equipment, um, like I say, survival gear, even even a root cellar. So uh, yeah, push comes to shove. And you have to bug up real quick. Uh, you haven't got all your eggs in one basket. You've got these hidden away. And um, you can call on them when you need it. That's the idea anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you are a subscriber, Make sure you've got the notification bell uh, tapped on and then um, any new videos will come out then you'll be notified. So uh, that's it guys, until next time, all the best, take care.